tutorial on how to play Who's Stopping Me by Big Sean and Metro Boomin. We got our capo on our second fret here. We're in standard tuning. This song is actually just an Andalusian progression, so it's just Spanish music basically. Uh, that's playing in the background on the guitar. We got a couple chords to learn here. We got an A minor. We got an E chord. A G chord. And we actually have a F chord as well, but we're not going to do the bar chord. We're just going to do this uh, simplified version. And you're going to play those top four strings. I'll show you how to play those chords here right now. Um, if you already know how to play those chords, you can skip a little bit ahead and we'll get into the rhythm, which is the tough part of how to play the song. So, for an A minor, you've got your index finger on the first fret of the B, middle finger is on the second fret of the D, ring finger is on the second fret of the G. It's your A minor chord. For your um, e chord, you're going to slide that shape all up one string, so your index is on the first fret of the G string, middle finger is on the second fret of the A, ring finger is on the second fret of the D, you play all six strings. For your G chord, your ring finger and your pinky are on the third frets of the B and the high E, your middle finger is on the second fret of the, uh, sorry, the third fret of the low E, index is on the second fret of the A. If you want, you can just put those two fingers there and just don't play those high strings. And then finally for this F chord, we're gonna have our index on the first fret of the low E, middle fingers on the second fret of the G, ring fingers on the third fret of the A, pinkies on the third fret of the D. Just play those four strings, four top strings. So don't play that B string that I just played there. Okay, so those are the four chords, A minor, E, F, and G. And our progression, is we're going from the 6th minor to the 5th, 4th, 3rd major chords. And that's what the Andalusian progression is. So, what's tough here is the, the strumming. Okay, so how we're going to do this, we're going to start in our A minor chord, we're going to pluck, and you see what I'm doing, I'm going to pluck, up, up, down, down, pluck, up, up, down, down, pluck, up, up, down, down. We're going to do that four times on the A minor, so pluck, up, up, down. G, we're going to pluck that E string, do it once there, so you play this pluck, down, down, up, up, go to our F, pluck, down, sorry, pluck, up, up, down, down, to our E chord, pluck, up, up, down, down, pluck, up, up, down, down, back to the A minor. So you stay on the A minor for four plucks. G major for one, F for one, E for one, or two actually. So nice and slow, four on the A minor. It's two, there's three, four, G for one, F for one, E for two. What I'm doing with my thumb, you'll notice instead of like going like that, I'm just plucking those top couple strings. So I'll go. So I'm plucking and then flicking those strings with my thumb. You don't have to do that. You could also, you know, use your pick and get those another way. But as long as you're playing those strings on the upbeat. Um, it's going to sound fine. So again, the strumming pattern is just pluck, up, up, down, down. Four, G, F, E. One more time. That's 
it. That's what is played throughout the entire song. Um, I know it's not easy. You probably have to rewind a couple times and try and figure out the rhythm. That's the hard part. The chords aren't too bad. Um, but that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.